So the first time I met Lisa, she came over to my house and I was worried because I came downstairs to meet her at the door. I was wearing a plain white t-shirt, I think knee-high socks, and some baggy shorts with some like house shoes and I just looked like an insane hooligan. So I wasn't sure if she was going to run away or give me a big hug or... So the first time I met Jenny, it was Thanksgiving. Um, he was persistent about me coming over to meet him and obviously Thanksgiving if he's open, no coffee shops, anything like that. I agreed. I was like, okay, I'll meet you, no problem. Felt bad, he was by himself on Thanksgiving. So I came over to his apartment. We hung out. Um, it was really interesting. <laughs> Looking at him, coming down, I'm like, oh my God. He's dressed like whatever. He didn't even dress up for me. I'm like, oh my God, and he has a baby face. This guy. But it was fun. Our first date, we went to the aquarium and we got to play with some little fishies. We hung out, we laughed, we got to know each other, watched a couple shows, we ate some food. It was me being me, her being her. And I think that was the best part that we both realized that we can be ourselves and we're not, you know, trying to be someone else because there's other people around. We can just be us. So our first date, um, he picked the Aquarium Pacific in Long Beach. Interesting, I've never been there before. I was like, okay, no problem, we'll go, let's go see what it is. Did not know it was a bunch of sea creatures I knew nothing about. But it was fun. He told me all about the fishes and all these animals, and I was like, okay, it's not my thing, but here we are. <laughs> it's a fun first date. Okay, so now let's talk about babies. Lisa had been hounding me, hounding me for two years for a dog. Okay? She wanted a dog. She had to have a dog. She didn't let me sleep at night because she wanted a dog. So in comes Vegas into our lives. We're going, we're going to training. We're walking into Flame Brother. We wanted to get some food right before training. Because miraculously we had like 15, 20 minutes to spare. So as we're walking in, there's a guy in the parking lot, he's selling dogs. So I, she looks at me, she's like, oh my God. She got a dog, I want a dog. Oh my God. And I said, okay, let me talk to the guy. I'm like, you know, excuse me, do you have any more dogs? Yes, okay, can you show me? What do you have? Well, I have two boys, or two girls and a boy. And I said, what kind of dogs are these? multi -poos. Okay, no problem, multi you yeah. know? So, uh, <clears throat> we go to this guy's car. He pulls out one dog and I was like, I don't really like curly haired dogs, you know? So then he pulls out Vegas. It's this little fluffy little white ball with legs sticking out of it and a big old belly. So I pick up this dog and he just clings to me with his like with his little claws and he's like, please don't let me go, like take me home with you. I immediately fell in love with this dog. And I'm like how much is this dog? So we just negotiated a price, everything's fine. And then, here, and then Vegas came into our lives. That's when everything changed. Vegas. This little guy. Um, definitely, in the beginning I was like, okay, I wanna get a dog. I've always had dogs. Um, Janity was like, no, we can't get a dog. And I'm like, just a little dog. A small dog will be fine. I can take care of it, he'll be okay. So, Jenna was like, fine, we'll get a dog. We got a dog. <laughs> and watching Jenna take care of this dog, oh my god. He doesn't let you do anything. This dog is his pride and joy. You can't discipline a dog, Jenna gets mad. Can't take the dog's toys, Jenna gets mad. But yeah, it's been fun. He's our little joy. The moment I knew that I was in love, I want to say it was uh, 
Well, actually, I, I know that it was when she decided she was going to leave to go to Texas to live there. When she told me that, I wanted to act like I didn't really care. But the second she left California, I was heartbroken. And I was like, I was not the same. I tried to, you know, put on a happy face and it just it wasn't working. And that's when I realized that I was in love with her and I did everything I could to try and you know, beg her to come back. When did I know I was in love with Jenity? Um, it has to definitely be when I decided to move. I decided to move to Texas and was tired of California and I wanted to go and my family was ready to go. I told him I was leaving and he was like, okay, yeah, no big deal. And I was like, oh my God, I'm really leaving. Um, I want to say when I was driving and he kept coming into my mind and thinking like, oh my God, I wonder what he's doing. I wonder if he's going to miss me. Um, I knew this guy had a place in my heart. I knew I loved him. And I was just hoping he'd get himself together and, and we'd be together and here I am. It worked. So where do I see myself in five years? I don't know. Talk to Lisa. I don't know where I'm going to be in five minutes. Where do I see myself in five years from now? Well, of course I'll have my black belt by then. Got that. Um, two boys, another dog, and still driving Jenity crazy. So now that you know a little bit more about us, we appreciate you guys and thank you for being here and sharing our special day. Got anything to add? Oh, don't forget to try the donuts. They're right over there. Right there.